Hello guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov and today I will show you how we can create very fun image in Adobe Photoshop CC. I will be using um, images I took a few months ago and also I will be using a 3D object I downloaded from Pixel Squid. I have created my um, document. You can create your document in any size you want to. And now I will add my first 3D object I would like uh, to work with today. Simply click on your 3D object and voila, I will rotate my 3D object and I will change the angle of my um, 3D object. Also, I will switch from a low resolution to high resolution. And now I will move my 3D object slightly down, just like that. And also I have opened uh, my images I took a few months ago at Virginia Beach and I will use those images in today's uh, composition as well. Um, but um, before that, I will use um, elliptical marquee tool and I will select top of my uh, cup just like that using select um, uh, sel transform selection. Uh, I will uh, transform my selection. I'm trying to select top of my cup just like that. And I will resize my selection. Just like that. Click OK. Now I will switch back to my uh, car, uh, my um, e images I took at Virginia Beach and let me decide uh, what image I would like to use today. Probably I will use this one using um, uh, um, uh, rectangle marker tool. I will select part of my um, image. Just maybe something like that. Or let me see. Yes, I will copy it. I'm coming back to my um, document and edit, paste into. Now, using free transform tool, I will resize um, my top layer just like that. What I would like to do right now, I would like to switch blending mode for this layer from normal probably to overlay. Yeah, I like overlay. Let's see, maybe uh, soft light. Yeah, I like soft light more. Now we have very nice uh, um, ocean in our cup. Now I will switch back to my uh, pixel squid uh, 3D objects. And now I will add another uh, 3D object I downloaded from pixel squid. Simply click on uh, this object and voila. I will rotate it as well. And using free transform tool, I will resize it. Just like that. And I will move it as well. Just maybe like that. And definitely I will switch from low resolution to high resolution. And uh, if you notice, I can rotate my 3D object at any time. So maybe I will do something like that. Yes, let me change like that. And also I don't need shadows here. So I will uh, switch from shadows on to shadows off. And also, I can move my 3D object and reposition it like that. Use, now I will apply layer mask using a simple brush tool with a black color. I will erase part of my 3D object just like that. I would like to create an uh, illusion that uh, he's jumping uh, inside our morning uh, cup of coffee just like that now i will switch opacity of my brush from 100 percent to 23 percent and i will continue paint out some part of uh, my uh, top layer my um, uh, 3d object layer just like that you can zoom uh, in and continue um, paint out also, you can switch between uh, opacity between 25 to 100%. And also, you can um, adjust your uh, brush size um, at any time as well. Just like that. I like it. 
Uh, I think I'm OK. With it, I will zoom out my image and now I will bring another 3D object. So I will bring a splash of water, something like that. Simply click. I will resize it using free transform tool. I will reposition it. Click OK and also I will uncheck shadows and I will switch from a low resolution to high resolution. And now I will move it just slightly down, just like that. And I will bring another 3D object. Uh, I will bring another splash of water. Maybe this one. Yes, I like this more. Um, I will uncheck shadows as well. I will move it. Just like that. And using free transform tool, I will uh, resize it. And also, I will move it, rotate it, just like that. Let's see. Yes. And I will switch from low resolution to high resolution. What I would like to do right now, I would like to add another splash of water. So I will click on Add New, and I will bring another splash of water into our um, document. Something like that. Also, I will move it. I will rotate it. And using free transform tool, I will resize it. I will make it smaller and I will reposition it as well. Just like that. I will uncheck shadows because I don't need shadows. And I will switch from low resolution to high resolution. Now, guys, I will highlight my uh, bottom layer. It's my uh, cup of coffee or tea layer and I will uh, add, click on add new, add new 3D object and here I have very beautiful fish I would like to work with today. So I will click on this fish, I will um, change uh, angle of my uh, fish, I will um, rotate it just like that and I will move my fish just like that and maybe using free transfer tool I will resize it. Let's see. Yes, I will make it smaller. I would like to have shadows and also I would like to switch uh, resolution from low to high. Just like that. And if I will need, I definitely can uh, move my fish as well. Just like that. I love um, we created kind of a motion illusion. And I will click on Add New, and here I have a very beautiful shell. I will click on it. I will rotate it right away. Using Free Transform tool, I will resize it. And I will uh, move it just in the middle of uh, my image, just like that. Maybe smaller. Yes, just like that. Click OK and I would like to have shadows and I would like to switch from uh, low resolution to high resolution. Just like that. Also, we can add extra splash of, um, of water. Uh, I will switch um, and I will highlight my um, cup layer one more time. I will switch to add a new and I will add another splash of water. You can add anything you want to, just like that. And let me move it. Using free transform tool, I will resize it, just like that. And I will move it on top, a little bit up. Also, I will rotate it, let's see. Just like that, and I will um, uncheck shadows. I don't need shadows, and I need my 3D object in high resolution. So I'm switching from low resolution to high resolution again. And now, as you can see, we have very beautiful splash of water. So, guys, believe or not, we are done. Uh, you can add as many many objects as you want to. Uh, 
or you can add background but i prefer to have a um, very simple very clean um, design uh, with this project and i used uh, adobe photoshop cc i used as always a wacom tablet and i used uh, 3d objects i downloaded from pixelsquid.com also i used uh, my image i took few months ago at virginia beach thank you guys and i will see you later bye